by Brutus, right, Flap? Yeah, the baby. It's too like me, Brutus. <laughs> go on, try it. Here I go. again. Ever since we lost our beloved queen, there's been little cause for joy, little hope. But there is hope. The queen's daughter, Princess Sarah, lives, and something tells me that she just might appear at the festival tonight. <laughs> Look, now I can fly too. <laughs> hey, what's that? Grab another cocoon. Yeah, <laughs> Something's going on in the nursery. <laughs> like Diabolin's goons. Let's get them! If Diabolin's behind this, it won't be that easy, Doran. Where's the princess when we need her? I will bring you Princess Sarah. Sarah! Hiya, girls. Mrs. Ashworth from Child Welfare will be here any minute, so stay close, Sarah. She's not going to take me away from you, is she, Dad? Not a chance, sweetheart. I'll call you when she gets here. Okay. Sarah, your amulet. Oh, no. Wildfire's on his way to get me. It couldn't be worse timing. What are you going to do? I've got to go, Ellen. But, but... Wait! What should I tell your dad? You'll think of something. Nice to see you ladies again. This isn't a social call, Mr. Kavanaugh. We want to see Sarah. Hi, Wildfire. I've missed you. I've missed you too, Sarah. Come. Darshan needs you. <laughs> Don't worry. They will soon be here. What? Princess Sarah. Princess Sarah. Hello, Sarah. I'm happy to see you. Thanks, Alvinar. Oh, Brutus, you're so cute. 
<laughs> now that you're here, everything's gonna be okay. Yes, thank you for coming. But what can you do to help us? I'm not sure. What would your mother do? All I know is that my mother would do everything she could to get your cocoons back. And so will I. All right, then. We'll come with you. No, I think it's better if you and Alvinar stay here in case the cocoon thieves come back. Yes, uh, that, that's a good idea. Brutus and I will go. And I'm coming, too. We'll do our best, I promise. <laughs> on the right track. Yeah, those sheep left the perfect trail. <laughs> we'll find those cocoons in no time. I hope you're right. It's almost too easy. We'll have to be very careful. Now what do we do? Don't ask me. This isn't my dumb plan. It's Diabolin's dumb plan. Yes, it's my dumb plan. Yes, it's her, uh, 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 Diabolin. I, I, I mean, uh, uh, silence, you boob. We have work to do. Come along. Go ahead, Tweedle. Knock. Yes? Yes, who is it? I have a job for you, Weaver. I have a... What do you want with me? I want you to weave, of course. Seize him. Yeah! It... Weave for you? Never! <sighs> Take him to the castle along with those cocoons. Take your little hand off of me. <clears throat> Aren't you coming? Not just yet, Dweedle. There's one more thing I've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> been done by now. Get that thread off those cocoons and make it snappy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. And you, Weaver, you have four hours to create a masterpiece fit for a queen. But you're not the queen, Diana. Indeed. We shall see about that. <laughs> I remember this path. I brought your mother this way many times. Really? This is the way to the weaver's cottage. The royal weaver who made all your mother's gowns. Then maybe the weaver stole the cocoons. Let's get them! Doran, we don't know he did it yet. Yes, I can't believe the weaver would do such a thing. <gasps> then maybe he's in danger too. Oh, Spectres, come out. Come out. 